In this game, USC deployed a five- and sometimes six-man defensive line. The defensive line was nicknamed the Wild Bunch. Four of the linemen were drafted very high by NFL teams. Tody Smith, Bubba's younger brother, was drafted in the first round in 1971. Charlie Weaver was drafted in the second round in 1971. Willie Hall was drafted in the second round in 1972. And Al Cowlings was drafted in the first round, fifth overall in the 1970 draft. Al played with O.J. Simpson in community college football as well as USC football. Some of you may recall that he was O.J.'s driver of the white Bronco. It's a squibbler. And is touched by Taylor and goes out of bounds. Hit his leg and I believe he deflected it with his hand and Michigan will be in a hole here at the offset. And they're going against the toughest front five in college football. The wild bunch they call them because they play like that, like the shoot em up western. There in car we see something unusual already. For the first time in the season, USC is using a six-man line. Well, we will see this uh, every time Tony Terry gets into the ball game, number 74. He and Willard Scott will be playing the two inside men. So we can look for the six-man line, the five. They also run the four. Taylor fumbles the ball and just recovers it. Number 83, Jimmy Gunn, overshot the fumbler. He would have recovered it. An item of note is that the Trojans' helmet logo commemorated the NCAA's 100th anniversary. The logo only appears on the left side of the helmet. Just seven years later, USC running back Clarence Davis would rush for 137 yards at the same stadium in the Raiders' Super Bowl victory over the Vikings. On this next play, watch him knock over a bunch of sideline personnel. It actually sounds like a bowling pin's being knocked over. Clarence Davis, who just carried the ball, replaced O.J. Simpson. He gained over 1,200 yards this year. Scored nine touchdowns, averaged four and a half yards a carry. Third and one. Davis trying to get outside. He has his first down. He's to the 33-yard line in Michigan. He was driven out by Curtis, number 25, the safety man. And that was Davis going hard into the Michigan uh, bench. Is on the 14-yard line in Michigan, fourth down and a yard and a half to go. And they're going for it. The Trojan fans root them on. Sophomore Jim Jones asks his hometown fans to quiet down. Gives it to Barry. Barry is jammed up. Looks like he stopped. Mike Taylor hit him again. Taylor roaming all over this field. Helped by the left halfback. Elliott and the big save by Michigan as they stop the USC drive on their own 14. This is a team that makes very few mistakes. They fumble the ball only seven times this year, set a new big time record for the fewest fumbles and had only six passes intercepted. 13 giveaways all year. Henry's out. First thing through is Billy Taylor. These are uh, the new recessed benches they put in here at the Rose Bowl to help the spectators who are down low see the game better. On third down, Moorhead is throwing deep, and it is incomplete to Bill Harris, number 80. He was covered by number 16, Sandy Durko, and number 46, Jerry Shaw. This will be a slight angle from the near side. They're going to spot the ball at the 15, which will make it a 25-yard field goal attempt. And his kick is good. Check out MASH TV legend Gary Berghoff, who played Radar, in this Plymouth Barracuda television commercial. It's a classic. No, you had to get a um, 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 banana cuda. Barracuda, Mama. Barracuda. Barracuda, carabuda. So who can tell the way it looks like a spaceship and so sporty with those, uh, uh, well, what do you call them? Those torsion bobbers for the super suspension? Torsion bars, Mama, for stability. Yeah, you should be so stable. And all these opticals. Options. What's this? A stick slip shifter? That's a slap stick An shift. An overhead constable? Console. And buckling seats? Bucket seats, Mama. And look at those instruments. 
What are you, an airplane pilot or something? A normal car isn't good enough. You had to be fancy schmancy. Mama, believe me, it makes it. So when are you going to get a haircut? Look at you, believe me. When normal me. isn't good enough, Plymouth makes it. Mama, mama. Uh -huh. They go to that old-fashioned, the straight tee when they get close. Moorhead may run it in. Let's see, he goes to the three. The old straight tee now. They run out of this 92% of the time when they line up like this. Gabler in motion. Moorhead rolling. A pass blocked by number 84. Charlie Weaver, the left end. Fourth down and three to go for a Michigan touchdown. And now the field goal man's coming on, Tim Killian, who tried 12 field goals this year and kicked six. This will be a 20-yard attempt. It's being held on the 10. The kick is up. The kick is good. And we're in a tie game. Southern Cal has a first down on the Michigan 44 in a tie game, 3-3. Three to three. 2.21 to go in the half. Jones is going deep for Dickerson, and it is incomplete. Slot right. Now the change to the flanker in motion. Jones with a tremendous rush. Look at him get away, and he hits his pass to Davis at the 20. Davis is dragged down from behind by Ed Moore. And you'll be able to see number 35, Tom Garden, right up the middle, putting the pressure on him, along with number 70, Marty Huck. Jones, strong, getting away from the tackles. And there it is to Clarence Davis. This will be from the 24. The kick is up. And this one is no good as it's to the left. Could have. Davis and Covington are the running backs off the eye. It goes to Davis. Oh, he's hit on the, by Ed Moore, number 97, on the 33. We've had some tremendous impacts by secondary backs coming up here in the second half and meeting runners head on. Third down, six now for Southern Cal on the Michigan 33. Game tied, three to three. Jones to the 21, the center breaks away to the 10. Chandler scores! Take a look at it from the end zone. There you see the Red Dog maneuvers. Tom Darden going in. Number 21, Bruce Elliott, missing one tackle. Chandler making a beautiful move, putting on a little speed here. Just pulling away from number 29, Barry Pearson. The teams are tied in first downs now, 13 apiece. <laughs> Billy Taylor looking for a hole, hit by 84 and 74. But the man that really flipped him up in the air was Tony Terry, number 74. All right, Michigan comes up with a fourth down and two on the USC 13-yard line. Moritz incomplete to his fullback, Darby Crawl. First down, Michigan on the Southern Cal 35. Moritz pass. Complete to Dan Mandich, the All-American end, the second leading pass receiver in Michigan history. Jack Clancy of the Miami Dolphins was number one. And again, we see Moorhead going back. Mantich will be coming across. Mantich in good shape, good open position. 51, Bob Jensen in on the tackle as well. Now it's fourth down on the nine-yard line of USC and a yard to go for Michigan. We're just under seven minutes remaining. USC's ahead 10 to 3. Oldham came out. Harris went in a split in. One yard to go. Boy, who knows? He gave it to the fullback, Garvey Craw. And USC is held. Chandler in motion. Davis getting outside. There he goes. Clarence Davis. But he stepped out of bounds. This is not a touchdown. No touchdown. He stepped out of bounds back on the 21-yard line. 
That nearly was a 96-yard run. They pulled game after game out of the fire this year. Barry, who how he's whacked there at the 20-yard line. And he's hit by 55 prior, 92 Newell. One minute and 13 seconds to play. Fourth down and two. Probably Michigan's last chance. They're on their own 36-yard line. The keep by Moorhead. He's out to the 40, rolling to the 50. He's in the USC territory, and the clock stops when he went out of bounds with a one minute and six seconds to play. Here are your timeouts left. USC has two, and Michigan has two. USC leading 10 to three. Going deep for Harris. Can't quite get him. Nearly had him, but not quite. Sandy Durko matching Harris stride for stride. Fourth down. Three to go. <laughs> Billy Taylor has a first down to the USC 33. Now the clock is moving. 30 to go. 10 to 3 USC leading. Michigan threatening here near the end. And he's going deep. He just misses Harris in the end zone. Bill, six seconds remaining. Michigan's last chance. Do you go short or go long? He's throwing it deep. No good. That's it. Time has run out. And USC. If you enjoyed this video, Please click the subscribe and notification buttons and check out my other cool videos and playlists.